Welcome to Layla Lynn TV, the channel for celebrity news and entertainment. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified of every new episode. It's been nearly two months since the new documentary, Whitney, debuted at Cannes on May 16th, making public a shocking claim that Whitney Houston was molested as a child by Dee Dee Warwick, her cousin and Dionne Warwick's sister. Now Whitney Houston's mother, Sissy Houston, is breaking her silence on the painful allegation. In a People cover story today, Sissy speaks out for the first time on behalf of herself and her niece Dionne Warwick, sharing their horror about the claims made by Whitney's longtime assistant, Mary Jones. Mary Jones says in the film that Whitney confided in her, revealing that as a child she had been sexually abused by Dee Dee Warwick. Whitney's brother Gary also claims in the film that he was molested by Dee Dee between the ages of seven and nine. While Mary Jones stands by her decision to air the allegation in the film, Sissy Houston, in conjunction with her niece Dionne Warwick, has issued this statement revealing their deep concerns about the shocking claim and the film as a whole. My niece Dionne Warwick and I make this statement to raise our voices above the din surrounding the release of the film Whitney. Although the film is marketed as a Houston family approved slash endorsed project, neither my son Michael, Dion, nor I knew of the allegations of abuse the direction the film would take until two days before the screening at Cannes. We cannot, however, overstate the shock and horror we feel and the difficulty we have believing that my niece Dee Dee Warwick, Dion's sister, molested two of my three children. I've been told, as justification for the invasive theme of this film, that Whitney was a public person and therefore the public has a right to know any and everything about her. I say no, she was a famous person, a singer, an actress, a quiet but generous philanthropist, she wasn't running for office, asking for money, or trying to win the right to run anyone's life. Her job does not entitle the public to know every intimate detail of her life beyond what she herself revealed during her lifetime. Although she spoke about her struggle with drugs, the interventions, her daughter Chrissy, and issues in her marriage, she never publicly spoke about her father stealing from her or revealed any claim that she had been molested. If she was molested, I do not believe she would have wanted it to be revealed for the first time to thousands, maybe millions of people in a film. I know the woman who was identified as Whitney's close confidant. If she was my daughter's close confidant, it would seem she chose to betray Whitney's confidence by publicizing rumors and hearsay. In any case, Dion, Michael, and I do not know her the way we knew and loved Dee Dee Warwick. Dee Dee may have had her personal challenges, but the idea that she would have molested my children is overwhelming and for us, unfathomable. We cannot reconcile the public's need to know about Whitney's life as justification for invasion of her privacy or the charge against Dee Dee, a charge with neither Whitney nor Dee Dee is here to deny, refute, or affirm. Now I'm going to say that again, neither Whitney nor Dee Dee is here to deny, refute, or affirm. Neither I, Dion, nor my son Michael, who was very close to his sister and in the film is very candid about their drug use, has ever heard these allegations. We have never heard anything remotely connected to the crimes charged against Dee Dee in the film. How I wish I could ask Dee Dee and Nippy what happened, but this film distinguishes itself from the other films about her by spreading rumor, innuendo, and hearsay, leaving questions to which I'll never have the answers. After people have seen the film, they will draw their own conclusions, and we're not trying to change that. We just want people to know there's another side. While the filmmaker certainly had the legal right to make this film, I wonder at the moral right. And listen, you guys, I also wonder at the moral right to expose allegations that neither Whitney Houston nor Dee Dee Warwick are here to endorse or deny. It seems immoral to me, but I'm honestly not surprised since Pat Houston, Whitney's sister-in-law, executive produced the movie. There have been so many allegations made about her moral judgment, but I'm not going to repeat them here. I just want to know what you guys think about the allegations of abuse that were revealed in the Whitney movie. Have you gone to see the movie? Do you plan to see it? 
And what do you think about them airing out allegations that can't be proven true or false now? Leave a comment and let me know what you think.